me? Come to the computer terminal. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen to me. On the next computer, there's a region pod control terminal. We've got to get you out of here before they get in. Now go across the room and activate the terminal. Please. It launches an artificial intelligence program to keep the region pods running automatically. That will help us stay alive. Especially you. I promise I'll explain later. Right now, you have to get moving or you're going to die. Activate the terminal. cycle going. Now, I need you to come get me. I'm on the other side of the Hoover Dam. There's a battle going on, but I'll try to get you through it. This isn't easy to say, so I'm just gonna lay it out. You are a clone. Alec Master scientists had you and other replicated humans created for experimentation and organ harvesting. I'm trying to help you escape. He's the general for life here in the Hoover Dam. Right now, his forces are under attack by an army of mutants called the Children of the Apocalypse, or Choda. I'm going to get you out. My name is Elena Winters. I'm the head LifeNet pod technician. I maintain and operate the cloning chamber that produced you. If you want to survive, you need to trust me. I know it sounds awful, but I never had a choice. All I know is, if you don't let me guide you out of there, the Chota are going to find you and remove a lot more than a kidney or two. I promise, I'll explain once we're safe. I hacked my workstation to get access to the dam's security cameras and door controls. I'll guide you from the cloning chamber to where I am using the radio in your clone collar. Now, head down the steps and through the hall. Don't worry, I'll put you on a safe path. Well, the safest, anyway. Citizens, we are on lockdown. Any unauthorized personnel outside of the living quarters will be shot on sight. Thank you. That's Aero Sai, Master's second in command. Believe me, she means what she says about killing you. to find a weapon. Ugh. Well, that axe might work. Those 
White Crow are pinned down right where you need to go. You have to take them out. by you. They're still making clones, huh? I hope you're not itchy. I'm out of ammo, but those mercenaries up there don't know that. Sometimes clones come back wrong. If you're not itchy, don't worry about it. You look fine to me. You're a clone. If you die, you regenerate in the nearest life net pod. You're practically immortal. They look like fresh recruits. You should be able to handle them. And if not, you can always come back and try again. You're a clone. They look like I'm out of ammo, but you shouldn't have any trouble. And if you do, you can always come back. They're called the White Crow. Mercenaries that work for the highest bidder. And around here, that's Alec Masters, the tyrant of the Hoover Dam. They look like fresh recruits. You should be able to handle them. And if not, you can always guards. Before you leave, try to find a rifle on one of the corpses in here. I wouldn't want you to bring an axe to a gunfight.
Now you're headed for the medical bay. It's where they operate on clones. Be careful. All units, report to the command center, now! You're going to need some med kits. The light bearers are experts in healing, so I bet they can help you. Many thanks for helping us. We came to save these mutants from being slaughtered by Alec Master's scientists, but I didn't think they'd be armed. If you hadn't come, we might not have survived. I am Jonas, one of the light bearers. We are many things, warriors, teachers, and healers like myself. We strive to harness the powers of Shiva's touch, what most people call mutations, and use them for good. I would speak further, but I must see to the wounded. Is there anything you need? Masters will be avenged! The Shota and their allies will pay! Kill them! Kill them! Shoot! I need your help. These guys look like enforcers. I think Do you, you can have trust any them. Medkits? The White Crow could be back any second. Sergeant Krell, 2nd Platoon, Charlie Company. 
We were evacuating some civilians when Master's thugs opened fire on us. We got scattered. Do you have any medical supplies? They died. We tried to help, but it wasn't enough. Look, the White Crow will be here any minute. Can you help us or not? Shit. We've got hostiles incoming. I need your help to fight them off. No, just no. I can't live that. It'd be rude. Thanks for the help. We'll try to link up with the other enforcers, then get the hell out of here. I suggest you escape before the Chota tear this place down. We're the soldiers who held this place together after the rest of the world went to shit. I've seen what's outside. Raiders, mutants, and people living in caves. We kept law and order alive here in the dam. Now Alec Masters has screwed all of us. Alec Masters has been burning Chota villages since I was a kid. He started a damn crusade against the Chota decades ago, after some of their assassins killed his father. Masters called it a preventative war. Said he was fighting the Chota to keep them from coming here. The truth is, he just wanted revenge, and now we have to suffer for it. It's against the rules of the apocalypse. Or something. Citizens, the dam will not fall. Prepare to die with honor. <laughs> Sai's got a bomb in the motor pool. I'll run things from here, but you have to disarm that bomb. Otherwise, everyone in the dam is dead.
Never thought I'd be happy to see a clone. Maybe you can help me out. Turns out there's a bomb in the next room. Well, the thing is, the stairs are broken. Once you reach the bomb, there's no way to get back. And there's things down there. Eh, don't worry about it. Clones are tough. The worst thing that can happen is you'll die and come out of a pod somewhere. The bomb's on an ATV. If you drive into the vault, I might have a chance. You see, you're a clone. You'll be fine. I'm not so lucky. The timer's ticking. The bomb's right below us. I'll lead you to it. The bomb's right there on the ATV. See those barrels? They're full of toxic waste. Now take a look at the ceiling. See that? This room pumps air to most of the dam. If those barrels break open, everyone in the dam is dead. You've got to get the bomb away from the barrels. I'm not a clone. If I jumped down there, I'd break my legs. If I somehow crawled to the ATV and drove into the vault, I'd still be a dead man. But you're different. You'll be regenerated, and we can have a few drinks and laugh about it tonight. I'll even buy the drinks. Welcome to LifeNet, a product of Global Tech. If you're seeing this, you are dead. But don't worry, with LifeNet, death is just a minor setback. You may be feeling confused, disoriented, or even a little scared. It's understandable. You just had your vigorous, happy life interrupted by... Explosion! Please, accept our condolences. But no more dwelling on the past. Right now, LifeNet is reconstructing your body. Thanks to our patent, physical fitness will... The magic of rebirth happens inside LifeNet's patented regeneration pods. As a simple orbit, finest refined and your perfectly cloned body comes out. You've also been fitted with a wireless neural scanner, providing dynamic syncing between your brain and the LifeNet database. Your memories will be... But wait, there's more! Am I coming in? 
Clone, can you hear me? It's Elena Winters. Your stunt with the ATV saved the dam. It's thanks to you I'm alive to have this conversation. Even so, the battle took its toll. The dam fell to the Choda. The Choda got revenge on Alec Masters, but not before he added one last entry to his list of sins. Masters destroyed the LifeNet core, the mainframe for all the cloning chambers in the province. This has changed everything. LifeNet's creators never planned for this. They dreamed LifeNet would end the limits of a single lifetime and save humanity from its fear of death. Masters showed us the truth. People are afraid of death, but even more afraid of losing control. He sacrificed you and every other clone to keep anyone else from having access to immortality. So I did what I could. I rerouted your DNA through the auxiliary computers in the province, but it wasn't easy or quick. It's been four years since you died saving the dam. The destruction of the core damaged the backup storing your DNA. Worse yet, your future cloning potential has been compromised. You're dying, and I don't know how much time you have. Once you die, you stay dead, just like the rest of us. There's one way to fix this. You have to find the alpha clones whose DNA makes up the LifeNet database. If you can integrate their undamaged DNA with your own, you can undo what Masters did and restore your immortality. The only clue I've found points to the LifeNet facility near Embry Crossroads. There's a LifeNet technician there who can explain the Alpha Clone's location. You're about to wake up in a LifeNet station. The computer there will let you choose where to begin your new life. Remember what I told you. You're special. You were created to be immortal. LifeNet can give you back what Master stole from you. Don't forget that. And don't forget me.